Okay, we're back, and uh, now I think this is dried enough. Uh, we're looking at our our little uh, now. Uh, Y'all are probably going to paint these a lot more, a lot more blacker and stuff. But I, I dip mine in an antiquing solution, and it makes it real, real dark. So what, what I've got is a little silver here, and I'm, which I'm going to put on the tip of the. Uh, let me get my small brush here tip of the uh, axe itself and you go to the tip of the axe like this just sort of brush that on just like this to indicate the uh, sharpened edge of the axe just like that see now you also come back on this part the back of the get some on there and we're going to do the same thing back here see that And I know your eyes are a lot better than mine, so. On the back of the axe, okay? Okay, and we're gonna let that dry. See that? Now, let me. You play. Let me. Let me. Uh... All right. There we go. Had just wet it just a little bit. There we go. And there you go. And same thing with the back here. So it will spread a little bit. Okay. Now let's put that aside here, and let's work on our little eagle. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use a little bit more silver in here to make this a little bit thicker. There we go. We're going to make that a little bit wider. Now, now that looks good. Just have to push me sometimes. Don't forget to do the bottom, by the way. And the top. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to work on our uh, eagle. Now, uh, the bill is going to be a yellow color, so we're going to make it a yellow color, okay? Move this out of the way so you can see it. Just a yellow color. It's a. I don't even know. It's a sun yellow. I don't know what what it is. Just you want just a yellow. Hmm. 
And we'll go ahead and do the back. You don't have to do the back. Yours is going to be a lot thinner than mine, so a lot of times they just they just uh, do the back or leave it in a natural wood. But I'm going to go ahead and do the back. There we go. Getting all those little crevices and stuff. See that? Now, let me get my white out. Uh, I'll take my smaller brush and go with that, that yellow a little bit closer. Uh. Okay, we're going to use our white now along here. Get it over here where I kind of sure I'm going to have to give it several coats of white because this it does soak it up pretty good. Basswood is a wonderful, wonderful wood to carve with because it, it's not uh, it's not like some woods really. I mean, it takes three or four coats just to, uh, to, to get something going. And basswood, it does paint well. That's why we recommend using basswood. It does paint well. It is a, a good wood to carve, and so uh, all around, it's just the ideal carving wood. You know, you can use other types of wood, and a lot of people ask me that. And, and, and I'm not saying yay or nay. I'm just telling you, if you're a new carver or if you're doing things like this, basswood is the ideal wood to use uh, for your piece.